The impact of asthma on the health of the nation is significant. It costs literally billions of dollars a year for treatment for asthma. Children with asthma, it's difficult for them to lead a normal life. My laboratory has been interested in identifying new ways for treating asthma. The scientific literature shows that there's a strong correlation between allergies to cockroaches and the development of asthma, especially in children in inner cities. Anyone who's had cockroaches in their house knows it's very difficult to eradicate every single cockroach. So what we did is we partnered with the School of Public Health. We found a house that had a lot of cockroach allergen, and we went back and basically got a big, huge dust bunny, and then took it back into the laboratory, put water on it, and then we took the water extract from the house dust, and we gave it to mice, and the mice get asthma. We really like this new model of asthma asthma because it follows the mice developing asthma to cockroach allergens. And again, it's like what the children have in terms of asthma. We have equipment that we can use to measure how much wheezing the mouse has because you can't hear a mouse wheeze because they're so small. So what we got here is three whole body plethysmographers and what that is is a chamber that measures how hard it is for the mice to breathe. Normal respiratory rate for a mouse is like 500 breaths per minute. What we're doing right now is letting them get used to the chamber. They kind of feel comfortable in enclosed spaces so it doesn't take them long to calm down. Once they have settled down we'll start taking recordings of their respiratory rate. As you can see already there's their respiratory rate has decreased since yesterday to about 300 breaths per minute, which is about two thirds of the normal. When you look at the lungs, they look like the lungs of people who have asthma. Surrounding the airway all around here are inflammatory cells. So in a normal lung, these cells wouldn't be here. These are mainly the cells that cause lung damage. Once we know the body's response to the house dust, then we can try to figure out how to block the body's response. Complementary and alternative medicine is used a lot in China and actually throughout Asia. There's a need to go and use Western scientific approaches to prove that these medicines work or don't work than to go and figure out exactly how they work. One of the people who's working in the laboratory, John Kim, is originally from Korea. He was presenting some of our results in Korea to a group of scientists and one of the people in the audience use Chinese herbal medicine to treat people with asthma. He provided John with some of these Chinese herbal medicines and we've given that to the mice. And we haven't published these results yet, but these herbal medicines work to go and block the asthmatic response. Now that we know that it works, what we're going to try to do is go back into the Chinese herbal medicine, which is a mixture of dozens of different compounds, and figure out exactly what in the herbal medicine is blocking the asthmatic response. What we hope to ultimately do is to be able to find the cause and the cure for asthma.